Good morning, here we are in Hong Kong, the center of Hong Kong, and I'm in an office this time, in a charity actually. It's episode five of 852 Reboot Hong Kong, and I'm sitting here with Pia Wong, who is the executive director of Bring Me a Book. So Pia, you didn't really emigrate to Hong Kong, you grew up here. Yeah. How, did, uh, how did you end up in the, the charity world? Because I originally met you in PR in Hong Kong, in Shanghai, sorry and then you're now running a charity. Well, after Shanghai working in PR and marketing, um, well, actually most of my professional career, I just wanted to use what I learned for something for the greater good, for something a bit more meaningful. Um, mm. yeah. And the, how, did, um, how did you discover Bring Me a Book? What was the, what was the thing that brought you to well, it? Well, when I was looking at you know, what, what you know, causes and things that are out there, um, somebody introduced me to the founders of Bring Me a Book, James okay. um, and Sue. Chen and it's a Hong Kong charity. It's, well, the, they brought it's an affiliate um, of mm. the office in the US, um, mm. so they didn't for the core programs are actually from the US. But um, you know, bring it here as a Chen Yutsen Family Foundation. They set it up because um, James and Sue actually went to the US and they met with the um, you know with the, the, US the founders in the US. founders there and wanted to bring it out here. So we're the first and only international um, affiliate outside of the US. And then, what does what do you actually do? And the name is kind of quite obvious. And there's books. Bringing books it. to kids who need them. Um, so it's kids. It's bringing books to kids in, in the schools or at home or where do you bring everywhere. Books? So um, our main programs are in the schools and community centres, serving low-income families. Um, but a big part, I guess, a real you know heart of it is the trainings that we give to the parents, because the key okay. part of what we're all about is getting parents to read to kids, getting them to love. Uh, to love books and reading, um, not so just. So it's more about the bond between the parent and the child. It is very much about okay. the bond. It's about communicating, to, you know, and also um, bringing that interest and love. Because what they found in a big survey was that Hong Kong kids are doing really well at, um, you know, tests related to reading, one of the highest in the world, you know, according to the Big Pearls report. And this is both in English and Chinese. This or? is for Chinese okay. books and for Chinese primary four kids actually. Okay. Um, there's over 300,000 students around the world that are asked que same questions about their reading habits. And yes, Hong Kong kids are doing well academically, but they, have, they hate it. They have the lowest interest to read, okay. the lowest motivation, and the lowest confidence. Because it's forced read. upon them? Or? It's a big part is the curriculum, the education yeah. system, how they, how, well, even from day one, it's tests, it's rote learning, it's um, textbooks, mm. even at kindergarten, no picture books. So growing up here, I had no idea that, you know, the kindergartens didn't have picture books. So when I met James and he sort of, and, and Sue, and they said, you know, well, this is the situation, if you, even the bookstores in those days as well, um, not many picture books either. Mm. So it's all about, you know, um, for a result, you know, as opposed yeah. to, oh, let's look at the picture, let's enjoy the story, fiction, all of that stuff was not part so of the So you're bringing the parent and the child together. So what, how does it actually work? Do I, as a parent, come to you? Do you... Do you go to like a, a residential area and you go right? You lot, here's some bags. What, yeah. What's how do you so how do you run it? Well, we, we obviously we're, we're very limited. We're a small charity. There's only four yeah. full time staff, so we rely heavily on our beneficiaries to do the outreach. In terms of, you know, they apply for that our program. They get free uh, like a library a mm -hmm. bookcase full full of lo lovely books, uh, and including in that is the package is the training. So we train their social workers and their teachers, and those social workers and teachers train the parents. So it's a train the trainer model. Okay. Um, and that will only work because they know the parents of their community. Um, so our curriculum, you know, very simple, like why it's so important to read, how to make it fun and engaging, um, and how to overcome obstacles and challenges. Um, it's all related back to it's all research based with brain development and so on, um, and giving them the you know tools to choose the best books and so on. So. And so, so how does that work? I mean, you know, Hong Kong um, yeah. is going through a difficult time, right? Yeah. And education is an important part of what, and all, and mostly tertiary level. But how do you think, uh, you know, we can improve the whole education? Well, it all education? starts from the very beginning. It starts from the beginning. It starts okay. the, the issues that you see on the streets, maybe, it yeah. will be um, older kids. But ultimately, you know, you need to feel, you need to have, I think empathy is a big part of, mm. of an issue here in Hong Kong, you know, the development of just general EQ skills. Yeah. And that, a lot of it comes from the relationship you have, not just with your parents, but with your peers, being able to um, think creatively, mm. be imaginative, and relate to other people's situations. Um, books are one of the best ways to do that. Get into the So into you're the saying that as a way of breaking down the barrier? 
Very much. So the um, so you can discuss really difficult topics like yeah. fear, adversity, death, um, hatred, conflict, all of that in a book. So much better to have done that yeah. and to create a habit when you're young. And so when you're a teenage year, when you want to discuss you know, serious issues, you can do that um, you know, much yeah. more freely. And you deal, so last question, you're dealing with, I mean, you're in Hong Kong, right? So the books are going to be the Chinese books and they're going to be the English books. Yeah. How do you how do you decide the mix? Is there some kind of great master professor's <laughs> type that we have amazing volunteers? It? So we have a book selection committee for our English um, books okay. and, a, and one for our Chinese books, yeah. um, which is amazing because it's curated um, really on not just on age of the child um, but also themes. So you know we have a whole you know, categories just for um, you know uh, cars, motorbikes, <laughs> exactly, um, animals, friendship, family. Um, um, you know, and specialty ones, just for award-winning ones, or whatever it is that, yeah. you know, that they're focusing on. So, for example, um, you know, we put a library in a community center that serves, I think, minority children. That center wants to improve. The, the families really want to improve the Chinese, the Cantonese, yeah. because they're in a local school. Um, so, so minority here means for people who don't live in Hong Kong, that means I think minority. So like um, Nepalese, Nepal, um, Pakistan, or okay. you know, and they they could be new immigrants, or they could have yeah. been here for a few years. But it's hard, especially the writing um, yeah. and the reading. So using picture books, which are filled with amazing vocabulary and yeah. and so rich um, in stories, it makes it much more interesting for them to learn and pick up Chinese, and they can also talk with their peers about the stories, whereas at But the then school, it's not the parents who are teaching them, right? This is, because the parents won't speak It's a bit at the centre, so they can borrow the books, and then okay. we and have then volunteers learn. coming in, okay. having read the books, or the local families there can also yeah. help, and the social workers in the centre. Okay, yeah. cool. And well, where can people find? It's bringmeabook.org. No, bringmeabook.org.hk. Dot .hk, not forget the hk. Yeah. So let's do two plugs. We've got, we've got some time left, I believe. Yeah. How yeah. You? Well, two plugs. So um, your first plug, what do you want to promote? Um, well, uh, first thing, uh, well actually two things in the first two thing. Things. They're both the book guides, um, our English book guide for recommended yeah. books um, in English. So when I was saying it's about themes and, and so on, you can see nice. it's all categorized like this. Actually, you can download it for free from our website. Okay. Um, Bringingbook.org.hk. That's right, under reading resources. Um, and this just came out um, just a couple of months so ago. So this is a guide? For parents. Exactly. And parents and even teachers can use it as well. Okay, so, nice. um, you know, they can just basically choose the books. There's the ISBN numbers. You can order. Actually, Book Depository has, um, we have a partnership with them. So if you okay. buy it through them, um, which is that actually later, the I'll, cheapest I'll it. you can buy. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, and this and, one? Is this and the second Chinese plug? is the, um, it's actually the new one's coming out next month, but um, it's going to be purple. Um, okay. Actually, no, it's not going to be It's going to be like a teal. Right. Yes, yeah. the guide to the best Chinese books for children. So starting from zero yeah. to three, which is you know newborns, all the way up to chapter books. Um, again, amazing Chinese book selection committee that you know librarians, parents, teachers, and so on have have chosen these books, so they can use that. We just want with the right book, any any child will love reading, really. And you have a library here, so can people just turn up? Or how, how does that work? Yeah, so the library is great. Well, obviously, if you're in Hon on Hong Kong Island, it's really um, handy. You can just borrow any of the books on the book list, and you yeah. get a book um, actually delivered to your house. On your, if you don't have a children, you could have it for your own, for yourself, for or you could have it. Um, yeah. I might try for that for your child. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. we run out of time, so thank you. Thank you Be very fun. much, Napoleon. <laughs>